Now here we have two tangents to this circle. If I move one of the tangents, these two tangents will intersect. And we have a kite. OA and OB are equal in length because both are the radii of this circle. Angle here at A and B are both 90 degrees. We have just learned that a tangent to a circle makes a 90 degrees angle with the radius of a circle. AX and BX are also equal in length. This line OX bisect the angle at the center here and the angle at X into two equal halves. So these two angles are equal. And these two angles are also equal. Also, this angle plus this angle is 90 degrees. Because in this triangle, angle at A here is 90 degrees. So the sum of these two angles must be 90 degrees. The sum of these two angles is also 90 degrees. AX and BX are tangents to this circle. A. Find the radius of the circle. B. Find angle P and Q. The angle here at A is 90 degrees because AX is a tangent to the circle. So this is a right angle triangle. We know the angle, we know the opposite to the angle, and we want to find adjacent, the radius, OA. Opposite over adjacent is the trigonometric ratio of tangent. So we are going to use tangent to find the radius of the circle. Tangent 50 degrees is 10 cm over OA. So OA is 10 over tangent 50 degrees. And we get 8.39 cm, correct to three significant figures. Next, we want to find P. Let's look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle with 90 degrees here at A. So the sum of angle P and 50 degrees is 90 degrees. So P is 90 minus 50. And that is 40 degrees. Q is also 40 degrees because line OX is a bisector to this angle at X. It divides angle at X into two equal halves. Please do the quiz.